I was 15, about the time I stopped believing in God. Uh, that's when I first did my first line of cocaine and fell in love with it and kept doing that and end up leading to doing pills and uh, meth and during most of my 20s was doing about anything and everything that can catch me a buzz. Went through my divorce and it was a real messy divorce and everything and um, needed something to bring me down because I was getting all pissed off all the time and heroin I knew would work so just picked up a needle and just started shooting and kept on doing it for a couple of years until all our friends ended up going to prison ended up picking it back up and uh, kept on doing it for a few more years and ended up overdosing June 23rd of 2017. Um, body was on the floor in the bathroom about 5.30 that night when I got home from work. And my wife ended up finding me when she got home from work about 11.30. And my temperature was 90.7 degrees and my legs was swelled up because my kidneys shut down and released all the toxins into my legs. And they had to do relief cuts on my legs and my upper thigh and my right side. And had to learn how to walk again, was in intensive rehab for a couple of weeks and everything and got out of the hospital August 14th of that year and um, kept shooting up for a couple of years after that, about a year after that. And then uh, went to that night of hope in St. Mary's at the end of July and ended up getting saved. We ended up selling our trailer in Jackson Center and I moved in with my mom and she moved in with her mom and everything. and. Um, the last time I overdosed, that was, I was done. And because I cheated death three times and knew that I probably ain't got another shot left. So just kind of stuck to my groups and my Bible studies and going to church and everything. Monday nights, I go to an AA meeting in St. Mary's and um, Tuesday nights I go with my dad to his Bible study. Wednesday nights I go to my church for my Bible study. Uh, Thursdays at noon I go to NA meeting in St. Mary's and um, from five to six I go to Coleman's for group in St. Mary's. It's drug counseling there. And on Fridays, days I have my laundry day and Saturdays I just lounge around and some days I go to church and just getting that routine of having something to do every day kind of like motivates me to you know just stay in the habit and staying away from 75 staying away from Dayton you know those are two big triggers because looking back you know when from the time I stopped believing to the time I got saved again my life was just nothing but chaos and I was always angry all the time and just everything was just out of control, even though I thought I could manage, you know, I, I was still able to work, so in a way I was like a functioning addict, so I thought I had a control of everything, but I didn't, you know, control's just an illusion, and, but now if I ever have a problem, I just turn it over to him, and I actually have peace now, which is a very nice feeling.